Okay guys, it's Kristen. Um, Kayla's asleep. So welcome to another episode of Kristen After Dark. Um, I'm going to be doing some bloom, Shelly Art bloom techniques on some tiles uh, to make into coasters. So I just wanted to show you what I use. Um, I use this Glidden Premium Semi Gloss in pure white as my base and I do um, one ounce of Golden Gak 800 to 16 ounces of the paint. And then for my pouring mediums, I actually make two. Um, one is a thinner consistency for my two paints and one is a thicker consistency for my more fluid um, paints like my Deco Art Americana Metallics uh, and some of the um, other paints that I use that are, are thinner. So all together, I, I use these three products here, this Glidden Premium uh, Semi Gloss in Base 3 and the Bare High Gloss Enamel in Deep Base and then the Polyurethane. So for my thin, I put two parts of the Glidden to one part polyurethane and one part deep base. For my thicker, I put two parts deep base, one part polyurethane, one part Glidden. And what I actually do is I mix them up and then I pour them into, I put them into these Lily Vecchi bottles that I've marked thin and thick. <laughs> just makes it easier to measure that way because then you can squirt it into a I use um, either the this uh, tablespoon or the spoons that I use to mix I have these little tiny spoons like this size that I use to mix up I can measure it a little bit easier from the squeeze bottle and then my uh, cell activator is Amsterdam titanium white um, and Australian Floetrol which is four parts Floetrol and one part paint and I mix it up as my cell activator so I wanted to show you guys that okay one other thing I wanted to show you so I've been putting my pillow paint in the Loli Vefi bottles too this is I don't know what the name of the size is but it's about the 250 milliliter bottle um, I recently just got the monster bottle that's got the measurements on it. This is 480, but to the top it's probably about 500. Um, this will fit the 16 ounces of paint plus the one ounce of Golden Gak 800. It should fit in this bottle. So next time I mix it up, I'm going to pour it right in the monster bottle and squeeze it out of there. I like. I like using these bottles. I like being able to squeeze the paint out um, rather than put them in cups. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what colors I'm gonna be using today. So um, this right here is a mixture of, I found this is new for us. This is Folk Art Terracotta and it's a matte. Um, it says textured, It's I wouldn't say it's textured. I guess we'll find out when it dries. Um, but this is the red clay and I added a little bit of the treasure gold fire opal to it um, just to brighten it up a little bit and give it a little bit of shimmer. And then I have in this cup the treasure gold in aquamarine and that's a beautiful color. And these are fairly thick. I like them this way. Um, I find it easier to blow out for me. And then this is another of the Folk Art Terracotta. And this one is called Cool Concrete. And I added a little bit of the Enchanted Iridescent top coat to it. Um, just to make it not so matte. Can't really tell the iridescent is in there. Um, and then this gray I mixed up myself. It's just some Amsterdam lamp black plus titanium white. And I just mixed them together to make this gray color. 
and then this right here is deco water americana decor metallics in rose gold again pretty thick All right, and those are the colors i'm going to be using today to create my tiles okay so i am set up to do my uh tiles so i went out and i bought this it's a little doggy pool and as you can see i've been using it um and i have my lazy susan nice and clean and ready to go um i have some tiles that i have i have some tiles that i've already taped the back up and um my pillow paint And my cell activator, I'm going to use white cell activator today. All right. So what I do with my first tile, so it doesn't go flying off the Lazy Deborah, is I just put some paint on the back of it and I stick it down in the middle. Okay. Then I will put my pillow paint on. And it just makes it easier when you can squeeze it for me anyway. Whoops. Oh, I should really put gloves on. This is going to get messy. Hold on a second. Okay, got my gloves on. And I'm standing on my box because I got to get some leverage to get up and over this, this doggy pillow. All right, so I'm going to start with some of this terracotta. And I'm just going to put it right in the center of the tile. A little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to use the folk art treasure gold and aquamarine. And then some of the terracotta in the cool concrete with the iridescent mixed in. Not too much of that. And then I'll come in with my gray mixture. This one's a little bit thicker than all the other ones because it's the Amsterdam, but that's okay. And I'll top it off with some of the rose gold. And what I'm actually going to do, because I feel like the colors on the bottom get lost. So I like to just drizzle a little bit across the top, just so we don't lose whatever the colors are on the bottom. Okay, and that looks pretty centered. I'm going to take some of my cell activator and just put it right in the middle and you don't need much and this looks even a little bit thick so we'll see how this blows out all right and I'm going to just blow it out with my mouth you might not see this part looks like it's really pretty all right it doesn't look too thick it looks like it's spread out pretty well and then I also have a straw just in case there are areas of the cell activator that I want to um, blow into to bring some more of the cells up there's not really much of that going on here so I don't think I really need to use my straw maybe a little bit over here There's nothing really coming up. But the cells are looking really pretty. There's some multicolored ones. I got some blue, um, some of that terracotta color. 
the clay color and um, it looks really nice. So then what I also do is I take my pillow paint in my squeeze bottle and I just cover the corners. And I find this is convenient too because you don't waste as much of the pillow paint. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead, make sure I'm in the center and give it a spin. I tend to spin pretty aggressively, so sometimes I just have to slow it down. All right, and that's looking pretty. I'm just gonna center it a little bit. I'm gonna give it one more spin. That's looking really pretty. All right. And all my sides are covered. I like to look around just to make sure. And if not, you could just, what I do is I take a little spatula that I have, which is what I use to lift the tiles up. And you can kind of just pick up some of the paint that has flown off and just touch up any areas that are not covered. But this is mostly covered. And I think that'll do it for this one. Let's pop this one up. And I just pop it up with the, with the little spatula. And there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one to dry. And I'll try another one. Okay, and once you've done your first one, this is, tile is gonna stick. You know, you could always just move the paint over to the middle it should stick really well. All right, and I'll put down my pillow. We'll start with this clay color. And what you can do, if there's obviously too much paint on your Lazy Deborah, Susan, <laughs> I watch too much Massey Art Studio, is you could just scrape it off so the tile doesn't go sliding all over the place. I cover this with just the um, press and seal it up nicely and then it comes right off and you have a nice clean lazy debra okay let's try another one
Okay. And there's that one. Pretty. Oh, it's got lots of dried paint on it. Ooh. Check this out. <gasps> it peels right off. Oh, that's crazy. <gasps> Brand new spatula. Look at that. That's crazy. See, I find that's a big enough pillow to start with. It's just going to spread out just popping bubbles. Okay, let's get to layering. Looks pretty good. This is the hardest part of this whole thing is getting it off. <laughs> like to make more than I need just so I could pick you know the best four out of five or six or however many I decide to make it seems like once you start you don't want to stop that one my favorite pretty and that will do it I've made five tiles I think I have four good ones out of the five um, there's plenty of paint left I mean you don't use much so you, you just cover these up and save them for another time uh, it sure is messy, uh, but <laughs> it's nice that everything cleans up. You could just take off the uh, press and seal and you have a nice clean. Oh, I lined the bottom of the Lazy Devil with it too, just so the paint doesn't get all stuck under there. All right, 
I think that'll do it for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Bye. Okay, so here are the final results. This is Kayla's painting. It came out so pretty. Beautiful. And then my tiles. They all came out really nice. I'm really digging this. Okay, so I want to show you how I make my coasters. So I have a finished tile. I've already resined it and I've peeled the tape off the back. Um, I went out today to Michael's and I bought these acrylic paint pens. Uh, there's a white one missing, but it's white, gold, silver, and black. And what I do is I can take either the white or the silver, uh, depending on what color I want to use, and I can touch up these edges here where the paint has peeled off. Um, and you can just paint them so that the tile doesn't show after you put the cork on. So I guess just whatever color looks like it would match best with the tile. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the cork is going to cover most of this. So I'm just going to paint around the edge in this white. And that edge doesn't really need it because it's covered pretty good. Um, and then you can let that dry. And clean up your edges a little bit here. See, sometimes some of the paint, this one still has a little bit of the resin on it. So I probably will heat that up and take it off before I put the cork on. And I buy these four inch cork squares. It's already got adhesive on it. So you just have to peel and stick. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and take that little resin bubble out. Okay, um, so this paint dries really fast from the little pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this cork backing on and you just have to peel the sticker off and then try to line it up as best as possible so it's nice and even all the way around. And just press it on. And there you have a coaster. Oh, something got stuck on there. Okay, but it's resin, so anything that gets stuck will just come right off. And there's my coaster. And what I got in the mail the other day, I ordered a stamp that says K and K Create so that I can stamp the back of my coasters. It's really tiny. <laughs> I didn't realize how small the lettering was gonna be when I ordered it. So I guess next time I will get a bigger stamp. But that's it, my finished coaster. Nice and shiny and resined. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please click, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Till next time. Bye.